So our hero boy is sitting at $3 and it did go towards our target of 3.5. What was the target I had offered? Just a second. I did cook up a hypothetical case scenario and I said that it will go towards 3.5 or something. Let me just cook it again one more time. But first of all, congratulations uh, on Sue if you participated in it. So it's almost $1 and neckline I must have taken it here. It's $2, that's $1. That makes it 3.2, 3.3. Uh, you can watch my previous video. I must have said something 3.2, um, 3.3. And then I must have made it 3.5 just because it's easy to remember. That's the problem of having <laughs> having a problem area uh, with Sue. And that's that's pretty much the case scenario with Sue. Um, for me, Sue has, um, Sue, it, it is really hard to predict because it is in a discovery area. Sue has never gone to these prices. It's creating new all-time highs. When a coin is in discovery, the reliability of analysis is always um, bad in comparison to when you have historical data. So when I have historical data, my reliability of T is 70%. But if there is no area of graph that has um, that this coin has entered, either it has gone so down that it has never gone this, uh, this down that much, uh, like we were seeing with hamster or it has gone that much up that it has never been that much up before, then the reliability of TA goes down to 30%. So it drops down by another 40% because you are in a discovery zone. For me, um, I think I must have shown this cup and handle on a weekly. This was the cup and this was the handle. And this is how I'm taking the deliverance. So that's why I think I would have said 3.3. It makes sense because $3.3 is a full deliverance on the cup and the handle. And yeah, $3.3, um, it makes full sense, but uh, 3.5, I'll just say 3.5, easy to remember, uh, is pretty much the target area for Sue. I cannot offer anything else, but I do, uh, but I can offer uh, support now, and that is 2.36. As long as 2.36 holds, you can expect Sue to go towards 3.5. If it is not able to hold 2.36, you should expect that people are done with Sue. They are now going to leave Sue and Sue is done with this overall rally and journey. People who are selling you $6, $10, please don't listen to them. Don't be that stupid. Uh, it is too much to ask. It's too much to push. And you can watch my TIA videos. Exactly what I said did happen to TIA and is happening at the moment. And we talked about it on 30th, on 29th of October, then 30th of October, 31st of October. And since then, TIA is struggling because of what we discussed. Fundamentals dragged projects down and fundamentally achieving $10 on Sue uh, makes Sue as important as Ethereum and it is not. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or I have touched on a topic uh, and I, you expect me to explain a bit more, I'll try my best to explain that to you in the comments. Leave a comment and I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe because if you're not interacting with the video or if you're not subscribed, you're not going to see all the 10 videos that I make every day. You're going to miss out on it and I think you are educated enough to understand what to subscribe and what not to because if you want to miss out on it, then why not? Uh, it's for your own good and you should know better what is good for you.